Hey, greetings my friends. Normally I put videos out there that have something to do with storage auctions, but today I wanted to uh, change gears a little bit. Uh, today is September 8th and the uh, 10 year anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks are only a couple of days away. Now I'm a, I'm a lifelong New Yorker and I live in a small city called White Plains. It's about a half hour north of New York City. And uh, back in the day, in the um, late 90s, I actually worked in the World Trade Center. I wor worked at Two World Trade, which was the South Tower. I worked for a, um, a financial services company called Dean Witter, which is no longer in, in business. And I worked up on the 74th floor of uh, Tower Number 2. The North Tower was the tower that had the antenna on, on, its, uh, on, on its roof. The South Tower was the one with the uh, observation deck. And I worked in that tower, the one with the observation deck. And, um, you know, it was a 100, they were both 110 story buildings. And I worked up on the 74th story. And from there, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how absolutely breathtaking the view was from the 74th floor. I never took that for granted. I, re I clearly remember every time going to work and, you know, looking out the window, I, I just never would get tired of the view that you got from up on the 74th floor. Anyway, with the 10-year anniversary coming up of the 9-11 attacks, I just thought it was appropriate that I, you know, put out a little memorial or remembrance video. And, and back then, a friend of mine, well, I, I'm sorry, so I, I left that job probably in, late, uh, in the late 90s. And, uh, you know, of course, those, th those attacks occurred in uh, 2001. So I, I was long out of that uh, company by the time, you know, those buildings fell. But a friend of mine is a union truck driver. And I remember two days after the uh, attack, he drove, a, you know, a big 18-wheel dump truck because there was a massive, obviously, a massive cleanup effort that was taking place down there to try to, you know, clear away the rubble from, from all those fallen buildings. And I hopped in the cab of his truck with him, took a ride down to Ground Zero, and um, I'll, I'll never forget, it was just absolutely devastating to see all that destruction firsthand, uh, going down the west side drive of Manhattan, being up around the 40s and 50s, and uh, it's actually smelling already the smoke and the burning rubble all the way uh, up in the 40s and 50s, probably a mile or two still from ground zero and smelling all that smoke. And then getting down there and just seeing what was once the two most beautiful buildings I'd ever seen. And now I realize I was privileged to have worked in those buildings, to, to see them as nothing but piles of rubble. The smell that was down there was just awful. I'll never forget a a big 20-yard dumpster right outside the, um, you know, right at the edge of, of the two fallen buildings. This huge 20-yard uh, dumpster with spray painted on the side in yellow. I'll never forget it. Huge lettering. It said FBI, airplane parts only. You know, it, 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 look at this. I'm getting chills just talking about it. So, you know, I just wanted to bless all of our fellow Americans who lost their lives in those terrorist attacks and those fucking scumbags who attacked the World Trade Center were trying to put a hurtin' on the US economy. That was their intention. And obviously today the economy is in absolute shambles. We could argue whether or not those terrorist attacks actually did put a huge dent in the US economy. I know the economy rebounded somewhat after those attacks, but were those attacks the catalyst for this shitty economy that we're going through right now? I really don't know. One thing I've said repeatedly in my videos is that one of the reasons why storage auction inventory is at an all-time high these days is because of this shitty economy that we're going through right now. A big reason why there's so much inventory available is because people stick their stuff in storage and then find out that they become unable to pay the rent. They're unable to keep on top of keeping their stuff in storage and their stuff subsequently gets gets auctioned off by the storage facility. Now I always say that you need to look at a storage auction from the standpoint of the storage facility. Holding these auctions is a normal course of business for them. Believe me, the last thing that a storage facility wants to do is auction off another person's stuff, but they have to. They have no choice. 
if they don't try to recoup missed rent, if they don't clear out that particular storage locker so they can you know, rent it to another rent paying tenant, then they have no business model and it only reflects very negatively on their own balance sheet. I know holding auctions is the last thing the storage facility wants to do, but they absolutely have to. It's a normal part of their business. So if you're not there bidding on the inventory that's available, believe me, other people will be because these auctions will always take place. So, you know, I, I don't want to necessarily start a debate about whether or not the, the terrorist attacks of 9-11 are responsible for what we're going through right now in this economy. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. I really don't know, but I did just want to give a shout out. And, and, and just, you know, let anybody whose lives were affected by those terrorist attacks that, you know, you're not alone. Your fellow Americans are with you and they'll always be with you. And uh, uh, anyway, I, I don't know what else to say. I just hope that um, if you have, or you, if you're watching this video and you had lost a loved one on, uh, you know, because of those attacks, um, God bless you. I really hope that 10 years later your life is somewhat uh, you know, I, I just hope that 10 years later your life is somehow restabilized. Okay, so that's it. My name is Dan. I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, we as decent Americans collectively can pull through these tough economic times. And um, uh, that's it for now. Okay, I'm signing off.